to, so today is Friday the 10th of July and our last literacy lesson of the week and we're going to finish off um, our text The Great Fire of London which I hope you've enjoyed exploring and reading um, and I hope you've learned lots of facts which have proven to be true about The Great Fire of London and about London in 1666. Okay, so today we're going to create our fact file about London. And in your fact file, I want you to include the four tools that we've looked at this week. Can you remember what those four tools are? If you're not sure, go back to your packs now and have a look. What are the four tools we've looked at? Okay, I'm hoping that you said some of these. So one of the tools that we looked at was facts. Okay, we looked at facts, things that are proven, or sentences or statements that are proven to be true about London. And one fact, well, see if you can remember a fact. Go back in your book and pinch one if you can't remember a fact about London. Okay, one fact you might have remembered is that London is the capital city of England. Another tool that we've looked at this week is writing in present tense. What does that mean? Okay, so present tense means it's happening now. Okay, and we looked at using the words like is, okay, in our sentences to talk about what London is like now. Can you go back and have a look at a sentence you wrote about London in the present tense? Okay, one of your sentences might have been Big Ben is a tall working clock tower. It's talking to us about what London is like now. Okay, another tool we've used this week is past tense. What does past tense mean? Okay, it's already happened, it's in history, it's in the past. Can you go back in your booklets and see if you can find a sentence that you've written about London in the past? So using words like was, were, okay, one of your sentences might have been, in 1666, houses were built close together. And then the final tool we've used this week is conjunctions. Ooh, what do we mean by a conjunction? Okay, a conjunction joins sentences together. Which conjunction did we look at using this week? We looked at using the conjunction but, because but helps us to compare what London is like in the past to what London is like now. Can you go back and see if you can find one of your sentences where you've used the conjunction but to compare London? Okay, and one of your sentences might have been, in 1666 people travelled by horse and cart. But, in 2020, most people travel on underground trains. So today, you're going to create your fact file of London, trying to include each of these tools. So, Ms. Burroughs has started her fact file. I want you to big title and bubble writing, London, because that's what my fact file is about. And you can colour it in, add some designs and pictures on, do whatever you like. And now I'm going to write some sentences onto my fact file about London. So, first of all, I'm going to try and include a fact about London. Let me think. Let's go back to our packs this week. What fact could I include about London? I'm going to say London is the largest. in England, using a capital letter for England, it's the name of a place, just like London. London is the largest city in England, so I've used a fact, I know that that's proven to be true. Now on my fact file, I'm going to try and use a present tense sentence, and I'm going to write this one in bubble. So what can I say? I'm going to talk about Big Ben. Again, I'm going to use capital letters because it's the name 
of a place, big bear, oh, my board has gone to bad, is a tall, use commas to run into these two adjectives to describe as big bear, a tall working clock. So on my fact file so far, I've got a fact and I've got a present tense sentence about London. Now I'm going to try and include a past tense sentence about London. So let me have a think, what was London like in the past? I'm going to say in 1666, houses in London. about London and my present tense sentences and my past tense sentences, I could go back into my pack and magpie, steal some of them. The final thing then that I want to have a go at including on my fact file is a sentence that uses the conjunction but to compare London in the past to London now. I'm going to write this one in green and I'm going to say but to compare it to London now. But in 2020, people travel on underground. creating your fact file, trying to include all of our four tools that we've looked at this week and you can make it as colourful as you like. You can also add some pictures on there if you'd like to. I cannot wait to see your fact files about London. Have a lovely day.